and it's looking less likely that that will be the case with our two systems, but there is still the possibility that they may impact each other, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Right now, Umberto, a major hurricane, will impact Bermuda as well as kick up the seas along the east coast, but it does look like the core of the storm will stay off of the island, but they're expecting some strong winds, high surf, as well as rainfall. And then a little bit closer to the United States, I'd say closer to us, but it's still an east coast system, is potential tropical Cyclone 9. It is not yet an organized name system. The reason for this naming is because now a track can be issued and watches and warnings can be issued as well. It's still basically Invest 94, meaning an area thunderstorms we are expecting to develop, and that expectation is high at 90%. Right now, though, unorganized, just an area thunderstorms. That organization may start to tighten up as we head into the weekend and then emerging probably in the central northern Bahamas as Tropical Storm Imelda, then becoming a hurricane, and hopefully that's where it peaks, because look at this. It is going to slow down as it starts to near the coast, and there are still a lot of uncertainties as to exactly what it does kind of beyond Sunday. Here's what the models are thinking, and there are almost three distinct possibilities. One, not as likely that it just moves inland where around uh, Carolinas, uh, maybe Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina seems to be more the bullseye, moves inland and that's it. And that's what both the GFS and the Euro are indicating, kind of that path toward the coast. The other one is that it just kind of stalls near the coast and then gets pushed inland or pulled inland, I should say. The problem with that is if it's not moving very quickly, it's going to cause a lot of rain across the Carolinas up into Virginia and farther north from that. Lower end potential, and some of the models are indicating this, is that as Umberto, as a major probably category four or three hurricane, passes not too far away, the storm is actually drawn toward it and pulled out into the open Atlantic. That would be the best scenario, and that is still very much a possibility. Right now, in fact, the conditions along the East Coast are very hostile. Big upper level trough, incredible wind shear from the Gulf toward the southeast. That, though, is that upper troughing what will be drawing Amelda toward it. Now, here's the problem. As Amelda moves toward the coast, this upper mid-level low trough is starting to weaken. It'll absorb Amelda, and then there just isn't much motion with the storm, so it just kind of sits, whether inland or just off of the coast. It doesn't go anywhere, and as it doesn't go anywhere, it is producing heavy rain. So this does not right now look like it would be uh, borderline even a stronger or major hurricane. Definitely the possibility of it being a hurricane. More than anything, this is going to be a big rainmaker for folks along the East Coast. So from Georgia up to Virginia and inland, the mountainous areas that are still kind of recovering from the hurricanes last year could get in on some significant flooding. We'll know more about the rainfall totals as we get closer to having maybe a bit more certainty with its future.